Hey everyone, so in today's video I just want to talk about the Supervision Core. Now I personally didn't play this too much growing up as a kid, I heard about it, but for me when I was a kid it was mostly Game Boy. But hey, I would still like to check this out, see some of the games, see how it's you know stands up compared to the game boy mostly from the view of a person who grew up playing game boys so it'd be pretty cool to just check it out and see how it goes but without further ado please leave a like subscribe all that great stuff and that way i can continue making content for everyone so now with that out of the way we'll just switch over to the computer i'll sh talk about it a little bit more there and then we'll bring it back and i'll show it to you here all right so let's uh get on with the video all right, everyone, here we are on the computer side. And as you can see here, this is what we're going to talk about, the uh, Supervision. And personally, I did not grow up really playing with the Supervision. I've heard of it previously, but just not really what I grew up playing. Now, this is pretty cool. Here they give you an overview of it, which I, which I was also going to look at the Wikipedia page. But uh, let's just go over the overview real quick. So the Owatara Supervision, also known as a Quick Shot Supervision in the UK, is a monochrome handheld game console which was introduced in 1992 as a low-cut, low-cost competitor for the Nintendo Game Boy. Uh, this seems like a uh, yeah, just a copy and paste from the Wikipedia page. Cool. It came packaged with a game with a game called Crystal Ball, which is similar to Breakout. So that's pretty cool. One of the unique features that they actually mention here, which is pretty cool to mention, is that the supervision could also be linked to the t to the TV. That's pretty cool. Wonder how that looked back in the day. Uh, but all right, let's. Um, it's very simple. Just like everything else, you would do to do it, you would need to install it. Just copy paste. That's it. it doesn't look like there's any. Uh, doesn't look like there's any BIOS you need. And here's all the credit and uh, you know to everybody. So that's good to know. This one was released by, what was it? Open Gateware. So uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty good when they give notice. Now, like I mentioned, this looks like this is still not even version one. This is version 0.1.1. So this is still being worked on. So just keep that in mind if you wanna play with it. But you know, it is still be pretty cool to just test out and uh, show it everyone. So, all right, everyone, let's just, oh yeah, real quick, this is how it looked. So this was a competitor to the Game Boy back in 92. Introduction price was $50, so it's actually not crazy bad. That's how the games look too. But all right, everyone, so this is how it looked, and let's just test it out in the pocket, and let's see what, uh, what, what, what we get out of it. All right, so we're back and let's check out this supervision. Let's go check it out now and see how it looks. So it's just like any other core and it's under actually under handheld. So let's go here. This is home console. Okay, there it is, supervision. Here you can check out more stuff about it in the about. This is pretty cool. I like how they put the icon there. Well, I mean how it looks. So as you can tell, version oh, uh, 0.1.1 offer is a... Uh, Booger Man, core name is Supervision. It's a handheld platform. Supervision, copyright 1992. And here's a you know the stuff that you saw on GitHub. Pretty much stuff that we already went over. This was ported by Marcus Andre, and uh, which is Booger Man. Okay, so this is a port. So you just gotta remember that a lot of this stuff is a port. Okay, so let's check it out now. I got a couple here. I believe it's a crystal ball was all right. Let me go back real quick. If you go to the about, let's check it out. It was packaged with crystal ball. Okay, so this is the game that it was packaged with. Already you can tell, very similar to, to a Game Boy. Let me lower this real quick. So you can still hear me, my beautiful voice. Okay. Okay, so press start. Okay. This looks actually I've, very similar to games that you would see nowadays. Oh, oh. Kind of like Pong. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. It's very similar to a Game Boy. You can tell. Even with the colors, you know, can pretty much tell where they got their inspiration from. 
Here we go. There we go. <laughs> the games are not terribly big either. You'll find them, you know, you can find them places. Oh, oh man, it's going faster. Okay, there we go. There we go. Nice. Okay. Let's see what, the, let's see what the, are in the core settings. I get the 60 hertz. I think black's already selected. Palette. Oh, you hear you hear you can change some of the palettes. It's a great crush. Okay. Let's go to another game. I should have just tried switching it there. Let's do uh, Final Combat. Okay. This was there. How they started up. Very similar to Game Boy. Might say they should have came off a little, little bit differently in how they did it. What the hell? Okay. Oh, it's supposed to be like a tank. Okay, this thing just drew me in there. I had no idea what the hell I was doing. Oh, 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 you go. Oh, oh, ow. Can I destroy the thing? Yes, I can. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else I got to do now. Can I destroy? Can I get? Ah, I has to destroy this thing. I'm guessing. <laughs> this is a cool game. Okay, what happens? Do I have to get in here? Not really much to tell me what the hell to do. But <laughs> okay, let's try loading the cartridge now. Let's do uh, the Galica Crusade. I'm guessing this is very similar to Galica. Man, that sounds very similar to a Game Boy. What the hell? This is similar to Galaga, yeah. Yeah, I can see why it didn't do tremendously well compared to the Game Boy, though. Did I just drop a nuke on the field? Is that what it is? Yeah, that's what it is. Just nuke the whole field. <laughs> yup. Alright, let's destroy this thing. <laughs> okay, let's go on to the next game. Uh, let's do Super Kong. This is cool, though. I'll, I'll give it that. This is pretty cool. And if you played this a lot when you were younger, then you would get kicked out of this. Super Kong. Like Donkey Kong, but Super Kong. What is it? Ah. Ah. Dak. Did I win or I think I lost? Yeah, I lost. Ah, keep hitting him, then he'll go down. Got it. There you go. Now I get it. It's pretty cool, though. It's pretty cool to be able to play these games. Because something like this, I never would have looked at when I was when this first came out. Granted, I was very small, so unless my parents got it for me, I was not particularly going to... Be able to play it. Oh, I won anyway. Ha. Get it, Donkey Kong. <laughs> Super Kong. <laughs> All right, it's a pretty cool little system. I'll give it that. I'm happy to have it added to my collection. So, thank you everyone for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, do all that great stuff. And I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one.